Hey guys, so in this video, I want to talk about like a new idea I had about this time travel video that I made a couple years ago. And of course, it's going to be spoilers for that video. So if you haven't seen it yet, check it out at the link in the description. But now the spoiler warning is over. So the general idea of this video is that I, as the narrator, would tell the viewer when to press J or L to jump backward or forward 10 seconds in the video's timeline. And yeah, I'm also aware that like if you're on a mobile phone, you can like double tap on the side of the screen to have the same effect. So yeah, I'm aware of that. But let me just give, give you a very brief demonstration of how that works. I'm gonna time freeze the baby and you will warp forward the cage. We're gonna cage. go Three, forward in 10 two, seconds in time. One. Go. Boop. Whoa, baby doesn't want to chow down on the now rotten smelly cake. We saved, we saved its, its life. life. Oh, the baby. So if you look, if you notice that like the timer in the upper left um, jumped forward 10 seconds because, you know, we press L. And so we skipped over this like part of the video that you're not supposed to see where the baby actually eats the cake. Inexplicable rift in space time happening in. Um, so that's fun. And like, yeah, this was like a video idea I've had for like a while. And yeah, but okay, the, the new idea that I wanted to talk about in this video relates to this idea of the poison dessert. So at the start of the video, like the baby is running to eat the dessert and it's too naive and dumb to know that the dessert will poison and kill it, right? But the baby like just likes the thought of eating something sweet and tasty. So it's like our job to make sure the baby doesn't eat the cake. Um, so when you press L at this point in the video, Two, one, go. Whoa, baby doesn't want to chow. The idea is the cake goes through so much time, it rots and becomes smelly, and then the baby, I guess, is put off by the gross smell of this rotting cake, so it doesn't eat it anymore, and so it walks away and doesn't get poisoned. But this never really sat well with me because. I feel like babies are so dumb and naive that they'll just still eat anything, even if it is rotten, right? Like, they, they'll literally put, like, pieces of wood in their mouth or, like, wood chips, right? Like, if you've ever put a baby <coughs> in a playground, they might just start eating the dirt on the, like, playground floor, right? So, like, I couldn't come up with a better idea of how to, like, demonstrate the concept as I was writing this video. And I guess like for a few years, I thought like maybe there's no way to really do it. But recently I was thinking what you could do is ha have a poisoned ice cream. So the dessert is an ice cream. It's like still frozen or not quite frozen, but still like very cold and like solidified ice cream. And it's like sitting on top of a grate on the floor, kind of like a, a drain or something. So there's like these slats and because the ice cream is solid, it's like sitting on top. But if the ice cream melts, it would fall through the slats, like the liquid would flow through the drain, and then the baby could not even access it. And I think that would just make a lot more sense, because like the, the ice cream is literally gone, like the poison has been removed from the building. And, and like, you know, you warping it for 10 seconds is just you speeding up the melting process, because like if, the, if it takes the ice cream an hour to turn from solid to liquid, but the baby can eat the ice cream in like one minute, then then like what happens is the narrator just freezes the baby so the one minute takes forever. And then you as the player or viewer warp forward in time an hour so it melts through the grate. And so like, you know, I can't change a YouTube video because like once it's uploaded, that's kind of the state of the video set in stone. But if I ever sort of like did a revamped version of this, which I don't think I would do, that's like, an idea I could try. Um, so, like, one thing is that, like, okay, spoiler again, you know, I, I end up rickrolling the viewer by kind of, when they get to the end, they have to jump backward by pressing J every time the red light hits the wall. And that makes it a bit of a challenge when it comes to scripting the video because you have all these, like, very short chunks of words that have to be consistent with the rickroll, right? So, specifically after the baby gets freed, then I say... You two... Oh, baby... Uh, it's right here. So listen to what I say after we have saved the baby. Whoa, baby doesn't want to chow down on the now rotten smelly cake. We saved its life. 
So the word that we cannot change is the down. Like, baby doesn't want to chow down on the now rotten smelly cake. You know, I said down very slowly, and that's a little suspicious, but that's because, you know, when you do the rickroll part, it's like never going to give you up, never going to let you down. So that has to be a very clearly spoken word. But you might wonder, how are we going to change the video to do the ice cream melting through the slats thing if we can't change the down? But let's just think. Baby doesn't want to chow down on the now rotten smelly cake. We you could pretty easily just say something like, whoa, the ice cream melted and flowed down the drain so the baby can't get, it, get to it anymore. We saved its life. It, it's like so obvious, right? Because it's literally flowing down the drain. So I just feel like um, it, it's like an edit that I would make that has almost no downsides, you know? Like when, when it hit me, I, <coughs> like I must have like realized it when I was like trying to fall asleep in bed and then I realized like, Oh shoot, I, like my time travel video, here's a possible edit. It's like, there's no downside. So, um, yeah, I think that just goes to show like, if you were to spend forever on a video, you could always gradually improve it slightly and slight, like ever more, but it would never come out then. And you know, I tried to rush this video to get it out like in whatever it was, January, 2019. And like, I kind of rushed it which means that I didn't have the time for my brain to like brainstorm all these ideas, but that's the sacrifice we make. And like, otherwise the video wouldn't be out until now if I waited for like all the ideas to come to my head. But, you know, I, I think it would be cool for time travel videos to become a genre, right? Like the more people making time travel videos, the more ways you can experiment with the format and the more, ways you can like find elegant solutions like the ice cream thing but like in other ways so that like if this video ever feels like it came short on some gimmick or element or like joke another time travel video could do it much better you know but as of right now i haven't found anyone else who's been doing these maybe just because it's like difficult but it really isn't difficult like i sort of explained my process in the sequel time travel video um, so if you're watching this, feel free to take my idea and make your own time travel videos. Like this is a concept so general that no one can own it. So feel free and like, it's really fun. It'll impress your friends. Like I'm always blown away by how impressed people are kiddo <coughs> by like the time oh, travel maybe. video. Well, oh, that's loud. Um, See, like, the top comment is, this was the most advanced Rickroll I ever, I can't even, like, that's pretty high praise, like, I really appreciate that, but, you know, if you, if you, the viewers, make your videos like this too, you might get the same thing. Oh, I just got a text message. Also, I gotta end the video quickly, because I'm gonna meet a friend for lunch at 1.30, but my bike is locked to a bike rack, but I lost the key, so I have to walk there instead, so I'd better wrap it up quickly. Okay, bye everyone. Have fun time traveling. I'll see you on the other side. Bye.